Welcome back to Trending. I'm Jeff Smith filling in today for Meredith Ross. Joining me now in studio is Itai Sagi, a vice president of Cronus Cyber Technologies. They have a special kind of patented autonomous penetration test. They test the vulnerability of networks and computers. Hackers, of course, around the world are testing these networks for weak spots that they could use to perhaps bring down banks, bring down governments, bring down infrastructure. So what is it that exactly you guys do, the, the technology you've created, and why is it important? All right. Uh, thank you, Jeff, for having me. Um, the cybercrime uh, is a big global issue that accounts for about $2 trillion uh, in damage. It's a global uh, issue. All organizations, big and small, but mostly big, are, are victimized. Uh, for cyber crime, especially financial institutions and healthcare institutions. And currently what organizations do um, is they use very good cyber technologies and then on top of that every year they have what we call penetration tests which is done usually by human ethical hackers who try to hack into the organization then give you a, an annual report on what you should do to fix those vulnerabilities. Uh, the problem is that it's limited in time and scope and usually the network changes continuously, it's cloud-based. Um, and they're relying on the, the time and ability of humans to do it. Right. It's very limited uh, in time. Um, usually they have about a few days or a week to do it, and, and it's very limited. What we do is we install what we call cyber bots or cybot uh, in the, the infrastructure itself as a virtual machine. It scans 24-7 your entire network, finds vulnerabilities, and on top of that it shows you a live map of what we call attack path scenarios into your critical infrastructure so you can stop it in real time with one click. And you, this is a, or an Israeli company Correct. With, this, with this technology, but is it being used outside of Israel? And how is it being used? Right. It's being used with uh, banks and insurance companies and, and hospitals in Israel and Europe, mostly UK and Germany, and now we're going to launch in the US as well, uh, following a third round of investments. Uh, so it's, it's being used globally, um, replacing in some cases human ethical hackers and using simply these cybots. When do you hope to be in America? This year. So now we're raising the third fund, and by the, the end of this year, we're going to launch in the U.S. And, it, you know, especially in the month of April, especially this week, in the past, cyber hacking has been a problem in Israel in years past. You mentioned it's not as big of an issue as, as it was, but it's still a problem. Right. So there is, uh, you know, the organization Anonymous, uh, they have a yearly, uh, what they call Operation Israel, where, the, where they ask people to hack into a specific list of organizations, mostly government institutions, also banks and private companies. Uh, that they feel are important to hack into. Um, it's, it's diminished by 90% since four years ago, so now it's uh, down to about 600 hacktivists, they call them. Um, and they're not very successful in these attacks because we're monitoring, monitoring them very close and we know exactly what they're going to do and how. All right. Itai Sagi, thank you so much with Cronus C Cyber Technologies. We appreciate your time. Thank you. your digital world. All right, moving on to a story in Europe where workers who rely on public transportation in Britain this month are in for a surprise. Some of them will experience the first extended trial of a driverless shuttle bus. Over the next three weeks, about 100 people will travel in a prototype shuttle on a route in London near the famous O2 arena. The vehicle travels up to 10 miles per hour. It's controlled by a computer. The shuttle seats four people, has no steering wheel, no brake pedal, but there is a person who will be on board to stop the shuttle during these tests if it's required. There are a handful of cameras and three lasers that will help the shuttle navigate its path. Meanwhile, if you're an Italian criminal getaway driver, you may want to reconsider getting into a high-speed chase with the Italian cops. That's because Italy's National Police Force just received a brand new 640 horsepower V10 Lamborghini supercar that can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3 seconds. The car can reach speeds up to 186 miles per hour. Police say one of the reasons they need that car is to quickly transport blood to victims of road accidents and also to rush organs to hospitals during an emergency. All right, coming up next on Trending, a one-armed dancer is defying conventions and proving that beauty knows no bounds as long as you have talent to back it up that story coming up next.